नमस्ते जय हिंद लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन यू आर वाचिंग न्यूज 18 नेटवर्क्स मेगा कवरेज ऑफ भारत्स बिगेस्ट ओपिनियन पोल एंड वील ब्रिंग यू द स्टनिंग नंबर्स फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द कंट्री न्यूज 18's बेस्ट इलेक्शन टीम इज गेजिंग द पल्स जस्ट अहेड ऑफ द 2024 इलेक्शन महायुद्ध कैन द एनडीए अचीव देयर मिशन ऑफ 400 पार और 400 पार विल द इंडिया अलायंस बी फॉर्मिडेबल can bjp touch 370 with the congress better its 2019 performance or will regional satraps shine a few minutes from now ladies and gentlemen the news 18 mega opinion poll will bring you the numbers that will give you the complete picture the most comprehensive exhaustive widespread monkey bath of the water on bharat's largest news network with me on this very special effort a managing editor here in news 18 zaka jacob and consulting editor News 18 Network Rahul Shiv Shankar good friends colleagues who made their notes zaka is ready with magic on his wall as usual ladies and gentlemen but first the details on the news 18 mega opinion poll survey conducted by news 18 poll hub the methodology 21 major states accounting for 95% of lok sabha constituencies have been covered 1 lakh 8780 people polled with questionnaires in 11 languages computer aided personal interviews or capi total of 518 lok sabha constituencies covered 210 interviews conducted in each constituency three vidhan sabha constituencies in each lok sabha seat five polling booths were selected via random sampling this is perhaps the most comprehensive effort by any news network to get the monkey bath of bharat's janta ladies and gentlemen over to zaka jacob rahul shiv shankar and of course umesh jha the cephologist who's thrown his hat and he's sticking his neck out here zaka oh, he he is the one with the butterflies in the stomach because if the numbers are right credit to news 18 if the numbers are wrong all blame to umesh ji so umesh ji on that note welcome to network 18 welcome to our mega opinion poll kaisa lag raha hai aapko this is the typical tv question aap kya mehsoos kar rahe hain aapne keh diya butterfly in the stomach hmm but ah. te- tell us about the methodology i mean to have a 1 lakh plus polling sample it's not an easy thing it's a it's a massive effort kaise kiya aapne ye well <clears throat> it was a extensive exercise by any standards so uh, we engaged multiple field agencies to cover uh, the 21 states each agency was given not more than two or three states to be covered to ensure that they were focusing their energy only on those states and uh, fair bit of effort went into the planning of the survey in terms of getting the questions right in terms of getting the team up briefing the team getting them into the field <clears throat> and uh, there were very extensive quality checks which were taken into account uh, for this survey including geo tagging of the questionnaire to ensure that the interviews are happening where they were supposed to happen of course there were on the spot uh, checks done and there were uh, telephonic back checks also which were done on the interviews which were completed uh, so massive exercise What's, It, been, what's been the error ratio umesh ji well uh, um, if we talk about error ratio in terms of our vote share it will be uh, less than plus minus 5% hmm rahul shiv shankar is making notes you have no questions right yeah, now plus minus 5% uh, vote share error ratio uh, that, that's quite significant isn't it umesh ji in a statistical exercise as sensitive as this yes uh, it Yes and no, because the kind of uh, sample error that we see depends on the total sample size that we have, and this sampling error is at a state level, not at a country level. If I look at a country level, then it will be much smaller because we have a much larger sample size at a national level. Hmm. Now, I just wanted to ask you because this is something that we discussed a few days ago. You have specifically said that this particular exercise took place after. the three assembly ele- uh, the five assembly election results so it took place after yeah. the first week of december that's yes. what you're saying yes. and did you therefore see that uh, there was some sort of implicit difference between the earlier exercise you took and also of course you again went back to the public after the ram mandir inauguration 22nd january so did you see a difference oh yes 
Uh, first round of exercise was done uh, in November uh, 23 before the assembly elections in five states and this current round was done in February. So yes, uh, it was like uh, checking before and after effect of the elections which happened in four Vidhan Sabha uh, and uh, the Ram Mandir. Yes. And in some state in the first round we had seen that there was some um, drop which we observed in NDA's uh, vote share. Now after the Ram Mandir thing and the assembly election, the second round we have seen that all that drop has been wiped out. In fact, in some of the states there is actually a positive wow. swing. So yes. So that there Dhaka is, is a an talking impact. point. Yeah, no, I, I have, uh, we'll come to the Ram Mandir bit. Nalan is also joining us in the studio. Javed Saab, uh, veteran journalist, is also here. I have the breakup, Rahul, of the 1.18 lakh people that Umesh Jha's team have gone out and physically surveyed. If you look at the state-wise breakup, and Nalan, please weigh in on this. Uttar Pradesh, 18,843 people. West Bengal, 10,282 people. Bihar, 9,140 people. Maharashtra, 10,924 people. Madhya Pradesh, 7,000 plus people. Uh, the, uh, Tamil Nadu, 8,800 plus people. These are not small numbers by any yardstick. To have this kind of sampling, 1.18 lakh, where in Uttar Pradesh alone you have 18,000 plus physical respondents, I, as someone who's been in this business of surveys, this is a massive sample size. This is, this is a very large sample size, Zaka. In fact, uh, if you go back the last two or three elections, uh, I don't, uh, there's only be one survey perhaps maybe th uh, two elections ago which had a sample size of this of this kind uh, because about one and a half lakh for UP for example they're talking about roughly 300 people between 270 to 300 people a per constituency. Yeah. Now that is a very very large number and I think um, the thing with surveying normally is people do very smaller sample size and then extrapolate. By doing so many constituencies and directly and at least uh, three con assembly constituencies within each Lok Sabha constituency, I think you're going to get as near an exactitude as, as you can get. In a, no, in a I noticed that 518 constituencies that have been covered is not a small number in itself. Somewhere, Umeshji, let me ask you, is there some uh, correlation, if I were to say, between uh, the, the assembly size or the Lok Sabha seats in a particular state and that sample? There seems to be a direct correlation there. Mm. No, we selected three assembly segments in each Lok Sabha seat regardless of the uh, number of assembly seats uh, per uh, Lok Sabha seat in that state. Hmm. Because there are states where uh, uh, assembly seats in a Lok Sabha seat is as low as uh, 5 or 6 and there are states where it can be as high as 16. So if you are to take uh, that into account that the exercise would have been uh, much much bigger. So we had to restrict ourselves to three Lok Sabha seats only. The one point that I think one should yeah. make is that CNN News 18 is not in a cyclical game of uh, coming out with numbers. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. No. Yeah. Uh, seeing from outside for a few years, <laughs> I did realize that uh, you were extremely um, spare about when actually to conduct these opinion polls. It wasn't some sort of a Dirigio exercise in, that in had fact, to happen. Raul, the last poll that News 18 Network has associated itself with was five years ago before in the 2019, 2019 general election. Yeah, that was that, the Ipsos that poll. That was the Ipsos poll. So we've not done a poll and, in and the how last did five that years. Go, if you don't mind my asking. We, uh, I think, got the numbers bang on. Yeah. 303, we, I think the pollster was within the vicinity of uh, 303. 303. Yeah. yeah. But, the, but the larger thing as far as the News 18 group is that karenge to apna karenge. we'll do it our own. Yeah. And that's why we have got News 18 poll hub. So this is a News 18 poll hub effort. And this part of our unit, Umesh ji, is now with us and he is. Uh, putting his neck out. So is also are all of us here at News 18. So that's how it is. So 